Well, one guy that I think we should talk about and, and end the show that uh, who who's who went into the war at 18 years old uh, was uh, Howie Meeker. Uh, Howie Meeker, you know, was badly wounded, uh, and um, he was in the war. He never got out of the war until he was 46. And imagine, imagine go through the war, and he joined, joins the Toronto Maple Leafs. He was a rookie. He was an older rookie. But uh, he got five goals in one game. Five goals in one game. And uh, I'll bet you never, uh, you will never be, uh, you will never guess who, who the guy he beat out for Rookie of the Year was Gordie Howe. <laughs> was a pretty good guy to beat out if you're beating that. He won four Stanley Cups in five years. He must have thought he was going. He was, uh, I think he did that one with Barocal too. He was on that score team with Barocal scored the overtime goal. Uh, I think on McNeil, it was top corner. It was remember, we must talk about Barocal sometime. So then he retired. <coughs> he had a bad back. Eh? Uh, he had to retire, and they give him a job coaching in uh, in Pittsburgh. Now I I saw him as first. I, I was only 19 years old, and I we went in uh, Duquesne Gardens. I think it was called. Anyhow, we went in the um, and the, and he coached, and I never saw it before. I've never seen it since. There was no room at the back. It was packed all the time. He sat on the middle of the bench. And I, I remember he had a great, and he, he coached. Imagine, say, I guess the Russians do that, eh? They, st- they stood in front, eh? Yeah. The, the Russians stand in front. front. But it, he sat on the bench. And um, so anyhow, he, he was there. And he, I think he became GM. He, he became coach for a while for the Leafs. And then he became GM. But when he really, really, come into his own was when he went to Newfoundland. I think he had a summer hockey school out there. And um, I think, did Ralph? Uh, did Ralph I'm pretty Melody? sure Ralph Melody got him on TV. Yeah, so then he went on TV, and he was on TV for a while, and his favorite uh, saying all the time was, golly gee, all the time. And he wrote a book uh, in 1999, and golly gee, it's me. So anyhow, here's a guy that spent four years or five years in the Canadian Army, was wounded, come out, and uh, was rookie of the year, scored five goals. Imagine scoring five goals. Man, well, Matthew scored five goals this year, mm-hmm. or two, what, what, two or three years ago. Anyhow, five goals. It beat out Gordy Howe. He didn't like me too much, but uh, there's a guy that was uh, a hockey player and a soldier, and, uh, and he became an icon, and uh, I sure admire him. You know, folks, we do this show... Don Cherry's podcast every Sunday morning, and for some, and I just when I thought of the uh, hockey players, and I thought of uh, the poppy, and I thought of uh, hockey players in the military. I, the first guy I thought of was Howie Meeker, and I did that. Um, we did, like I said, I did it. We do it every Sunday morning, and we found out that Howie had died in the afternoon. He was ninety-seven years old. I meant every word I said in the podcast, and we'll talk more about Howie next week, and uh, God love him.